Hey, it's Farmer Steve again, Turner Family Farms. We're gonna do a, a raw beet salad. I know, a raw beet salad. Yes, we are. We have regular red beets this time of year. Um, I do also uh, grow golden beets, white beets, chioga. There are some that aren't quite, you know, uh, they're not red and as a result of that, they're not as messy. What I did earlier to not get quite so messy, I say that, is I put a piece of parchment sheet down when I was shredding the, these beets. The way that I prep the beets, get the skin off of them, is just cut the bottom and the top and then cut down, cut the skin off. Uh, that's just the way that I do it. I can't imagine sitting there trying to peel one like that. So, you know, you square it off as much as you can. Um, in this case, I used whatever size that thing is. It's the biggest uh, shredder, you know, kind of thing. Be careful. I, this is just is a nightmare, you know, when you get down, just give up that last piece and eat it or whatever because you don't want to, you don't want to shred your fingers. It does work though. So what we ended up with is this. And that gives us more surface area in the beets to get some of the seasoning in there. I haven't put any I haven't done anything uh, to it salt nothing. So all you really have to do is make a vinaigrette. It calls for balsamic vinegar. I don't have any balsamic vinegar. So what I'm gonna do is take a look, I'm gonna approximate balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing this uh, because it's just basically a, a vinaigrette. It called for two or three tablespoons of uh, red wine vinegar. Um, I heated a little bit of honey up so it would come out of here a little bit. This, is, this approximates your, your red wine vinegar. Um, let me see here. I don't have anything to start up with. But. So we're going to do that. Get it in there a little bit. Now there, uh, you need some uh, Dijon mustard as your emulsifier. I didn't take, did I not take this off? I did. Nope. Just a dollop there. And we're going to stir that up. Salt and pepper. When I do salt, this is kind of interesting. When I, when you're salt and, uh, making a sauce or you know a vinaigrette in this case or whatever it is, a lot of times when I do a salt and I'm and I'm wondering how much to salt it, because at the end of the recipe it'll say quarter teaspoon, whatever. That's you just eyeball it. You really want to get to where you eyeball all this stuff. But I actually look at what I'm what I would be salting when I put it in in here. So I'm thinking, eh. A little more. I've got now. I know some pepper goes in here, so I'm kind of visualizing. Actually, I like a lot of pepper. Um, and then the last thing is parsley. Now we, I had to buy this parsley, but we have parsley in the field, uh, parsley and cilantro, and a lot of stuff like that. So um, a lot of new herbs this year. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have a, I should have had a whisk on hand, but um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna stir this up. This would make a good, if perfectly good salad dressing. You know, um, I like to make my salad dressings with lemon, but this is a, a nice little vinaigrette. And we add it in there. <clears throat> Just toss it around a little bit. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot. What did I? I didn't put olive oil in it, so I'm gonna put it in on after the fact. Um, not a big deal. I'm gonna stir this up a lot. You don't need much of that. And you want to let this sit for a while because uh, it'll get some of the astringentness. The word astringentness, astringiosity, <laughs> astringefulness. You're gonna get some of that astringentness out of the uh, out of the beets. And I'm telling you, this is really good and it's easy and it's raw and you're not cooking the vitamins out of it and we all know that beets are good for you so we're going to be adding this to a, an, uh, our mustard dish later and that's what it looks like and i promise you it's crazy good it's good it's good for you there you go